Bonjour, we're going to do a quick little review of articles today. So we're going to talk about indefinite articles, definite articles, partitive articles, and the article de, as they relate to food. So the indefinite articles, we're going to use un or un to mean a or an. Use these when you're talking about eating or drinking all of something. So je mange un sandwich, il mange une pizza. So I eat a sandwich, he eats a pizza. In both cases, we would uh, be talking about eating the whole thing. The definite articles mean the. We have le and la. They both become L apostrophe before a vowel, word that begins with a vowel sound. And we have les, which is plural. We use the definite articles to talk about specific things. So, il prend le sandwich au ton à Subway. He has the tuna sandwich at Subway. So, here we're being very specific. We're not talking about just any sandwich. We're talking specifically about the tuna one from Subway. We also use the definite articles in French when talking about likes or dislikes. So, those verbs like aimer, adorer, détester, préférer. Um, even when we use ne pas with aimer or, or adorer or something like that, we use these definite articles. So, il aime les oignons, mais il n'aime pas les champignons. In French, we always use an article. And so, um, even though in English we can just say he likes onions, in French you have to remember to put these articles there. The partitive articles, we use these when talking about eating or perhaps drinking part of something. Um, these ones uh, are often used for nouns that can't be counted. Um, so, je mets du sucre et du lait dans ma tasse de café, par exemple. The only way that we can count sugar is by measuring it and saying, you know, two, two spoonfuls or two sugar cubes or something like that, because you can't tell me, um, you know, you're not going to sit and count how many grains of sugar you put in your coffee. So, some sugar, some milk in my coffee cup or cup of coffee. Um, the uh, we can leave out that some in English. We can just say, I put sugar and milk. But in French, again, we have to have articles. Je prends de la tarte aux pommes avec de la glace à la vanille. I have some apple pie with some vanilla ice cream. So this de la means some because I have these feminine nouns here. And um, so you don't know whether I'm having a tiny little piece of pie or a great big piece of pie with a huge scoop of ice cream. No way for you to know unless you see my plate. So. Du is our masculine form, de la, feminine. We use de, l apostrophe, before vowel sounds, depend, regardless of whether it's masculine or feminine. And then we use de to mean some if it's a plural noun. And finally, we have de. So, um, de is used in a couple of ways. It is used to replace articles in negative statements. For example, tu veux du fromage? You want some cheese? Je ne veux pas de fromage, merci. I don't want any cheese. Thank you. Um, so, in this case, this de means any. Um, tu achètes une baguette? Non, je n'achète pas de baguette. I don't buy any baguettes, or I'm not buying. Um, so, uh, oftentimes refers to, uh, corresponds to any in English. Um, I don't want any, or um, I'm not buying any today. Um, de is also used in many expressions of quantity, you probably noticed in our lessons this week. So, une douzaine de. Une tranche de jambon, un paquet de bonbons, for example. And another one which we might not have seen in our lesson, but we may have seen other places, beaucoup de frites. So if you like to eat a lot of fries with your hamburger like me, you're going to want to know how to say beaucoup de. So anytime you have beaucoup, unless it's like j'aime beaucoup, I like it a lot, if you're using beaucoup to say a lot of something, if it's followed by a noun, you always need to use a de after beaucoup um, before that noun, whatever it is. So... Um, I hope this little review of articles helped you. Um, there's going to be a few practice uh, assignments on um, in your module, so please let me know if I can be of any assistance to you. Have a great day.